crate you're shooting at might explode. Don't worry about that. Shoot. Wow, right? Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, my part fell off. Keep going. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Okay, quite a bit's falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that now. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar. And yep, here we are. Some of the stuff I put on there just didn't work. Most of it, like 90%. Great! So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can... So, okay. That's the police. So, one of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. Because they're... This is a lot of damage. Which job do you want? How about I fix a turret and then you take... Yeah, I'll do that part. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? Don't say anything. I mean, wow, you are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, it was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as... Mohawk. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I manage like seven. Testing, testing. Oh, thank you.
Uh, bring your desk. Yeah, I'm bringing my desk. Uh, bring your desk. Okay. I stream. parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked i mean it was totally over engineered so it just does one thing now it shoots mm -hmm. it didn't need a satellite dish that was just dumb here try it on these appliances i found they were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room okay oh shit oh fuck oh i like that tattoo on your neck did you do it yourself it's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have it. No. Because then we'd be tattoo friends. No. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. No. Nope. You think you'd give me the same tattoo? No. Would that be weird? Yes. It would be weird having the same exact one. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. What about like a robot arm coming no. out of the side of my head and it's oh, holding a wrench? So you got the dragon and the knife, and mine's similar, but more robot themed. It's just like the Mark I. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. Wow. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. Huh? It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try oh. it. How much did the tattoo hurt? You gave it to yourself. Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, it was like a skeleton. You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he doing it on the inside or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? A skeleton on the tattoo. I decided that's the one I want. So when we get three minutes, I'll find a pin. Everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think, think we're good to go here. Really? So, so, I was saving the best for last. But while okay. you were in jail, <laughs> I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. What? No pressure, no but if he likes this, he's going to make us rich forever. Whoa. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. share of the money i don't know yet okay i, I know what i'm gonna do is pay off the money i borrowed to make this turret yeah that would probably be good like immediately pay it off or i'll i mean whew, i'll be in some real trouble yeah i think so plus the vig yeah. i'll have to pay that too <sighs> does it make sense to you that the vig is more than what i borrowed in the first place it doesn't seem like it that's oh. weird Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Uh, aim, shoot, fire. What the huh. Fire? That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. <laughs> Stop stealing it. Oh, oh. oh, geez, it's got a gun. It's an ambush. Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. I knew it! It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our movement? I can't believe it. They stole our idea and 
coming for like basically forever let me get you a new turret i didn't bring a ton of those though that might be my last one housewares man can you believe it those guys are such pieces of what did we ever even do to them oh i don't know maybe some other idea on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard. Now, for safety I don't have reasons. This so, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up through all 80 levels real fast and then up through the floor of Cave's office. I don't have a button. What the fuck? It's also just now occurring to me that there's no roof on this Automatic death alarm sequencer engaged. Here we go. We are going to launch in 10, 9, 8, 7. Watch the panel set to flight configuration. 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Weird ass game, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Oh, you good? Did you make it? Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. Thank I you. think we're good from here. Yep. They probably gave up. Right. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay, mm -hmm. let's go show this thing to Cave. Yeah. Also, I do have one quick confession. Yeah. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. God damn I lied it. about that. But it turns out. What don't you I lie about? This. It turns out nobody's seen him in years. That's not I good. did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it yeah. was still pretty new information. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. Okay. Thank you. I think he might be a millionaire recluse now, uh -huh. so be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Oh, shit. oh fuck! What the hell? Don't look at me. Let's just go in. No. Let's not just go in. Okay, we're going Mr. in. Mr. Johnson, are you here? Usually if someone doesn't answer, they're usually not here or they're dead. Hey there. Oh, shit. It's me, Cave Johnson. Ah. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm going to level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Yeah. Threw every dollar I had at it. Hey, hey, hey! Sorry, sorry. I can't talk over the sound of you shooting me. Sorry. Do you want me to tell you why I'm a giant yes. head or not? Yes, right. sorry. Where was I? Giant sorry. head, riddled with disease, eggheads. Ah, now I remember. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal. What? And this no. is what they came up with? A giant head? What? No. <laughs> Off by a mile. No. Sorry. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. Mm -hmm. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? 
still under the head, somewhere, all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. Yeah. So the lab boys put me in the big head, mm -hmm. switched me on, and uh, I don't Here know, I are. panicked. Killed a few of them. Damn. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Oh, we're here. Hello. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Are you? Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Oh, work. What? Oh, no. What? You were made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Is it working? I'm in the head. I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but... I don't think it's working. Ah, shit. Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. Up, oh, here we go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three, two. Backup power activated. What the fuck? Uh, you're both fired. Damn. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too no. close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. Uh-oh. Uh just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They mm -hmm. told us in parole officer school, you're not going to like this. Uh, it's life. <gasps> what? Your whole life in whole prison. Whole life? Oh, no. We should. Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. Okay. And bring the desk. Okay. Not touching anything. But I have to touch something to bring the desk. Morning, Charlie. It's me. Morning. Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey. It's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. You know, come to think of it, you think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Mm -hmm. Feels like everything is exactly the same. Except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. My name's not Charlie. I have to do this over oh, shit. Didn't do anything.
just that. A music game now? Like, what is this? What, that's it? That's the game? What the f <laughs> Claw jump. Hello? <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's it. So... Well, All right, well, see you guys when I see you later.